it's Fox and I'm here with another unboxing video. So today we're unboxing another treats box. For those of you that don't remember, treats send you a new country every single month. Last time we got Sweden, you can click over here if you want to see that and see me try black liquors for the first time and have it not go well. Now I want to start by apologizing to treats and you guys. I did already film this video uh, a couple days ago, and unfortunately when I exported it in, the audio was all screwed up. Um, I believe it was an issue with my microphone, so it is my fault, and I apologize, um, but the footage is not usable without the audio. So this box has already been opened. Um, I don't have everything because I've eaten some of it or uh, my family has eaten some of it. But I do have the footage so I can still talk about the products and I'm still going to try everything that I have left in front of you guys so you guys can see, still see what it is. So Treats was very, very kind and they sent me another box but this time from Italy. This is the postcard. It's very, very pretty. It's from the Grand Canal, Venice, Italy. It says Ciao from, Ciao, Ciao from Treats. This month's treats come from Italy, a beautiful country known for its cuisine, fashion, sports cars, and being home to some of the greatest artists and designers in the world. So it says there's something in this box for everyone. We can't wait for you to dig in and try these treats, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Bon Appetit. So to start, there was a chocolate hamburger, which I will put the clip over this. It was really good. It was very odd. It was like, um soft chocolate on the outside and then like a soft hazelnut chocolate cream on the inside. Very good, kind of odd. Mine came a little smushed, but it was yummy and uh, I ate it. <laughs> so next up we will start with the Kinder Bueno. I have a half eaten one because I ate some of it, but it is a hazelnut covered like wafer cookie. It's called the Kinder Bueno. It's very good. Um, the wafer is nice and crunchy. The cream in the middle is actually not overwhelming. The hazelnut taste is not overwhelming, so I like this a lot. Next up, we have bachi. Uh, and this is like a dark chocolate hazelnut on the inside, and I believe a hazelnut in it. And then there's a poem on the inside. So I'm gonna read you guys the poem, and we'll go from there. So this is what it looks like. It kind of looks like almost like a winter hat with like a little pom-pom on it. So I don't like dark chocolate either, but this is what it looks like on the inside. It's actually really good. The dark chocolate really ba balances out like the inner hazelnut to where it's not overwhelming the hazelnut. It's good. Gotta figure out how to read this. <laughs> say I love you the Italian way. Is this is how you say I love you to it. people in Italy. You just Here's a box of two chocolates. So the poem is in love the soul feels indomitable freedom it's not a poem it's a statement um you know they tried uh, but it comes in different languages you can't even see it but obviously italian spanish i'm assuming french who knows but uh it's not a poem it's a statement cute statement lovely heartwarming statement but i wanted a poem i wanted to woo my audience with a poem. Instead, I got a statement. Here you go, audience. Roses are red, violets are blue. I think you're cute and very adorable too. Did that, all right, you know what I tried. I'm not a poet. Next up, mini Cantuccini, uh, which are like biscotti almost with chocolate chips. They look like this. Um, there's a whole slew of them. They're good. I think they would be better like dipped into tea or coffee. So we've also got these snack wafers, um, Baloco, and it's crispy wafers filled with cocoa cream. So they look like this, like your typical wafer. They're very good. I like them. So next up, I had like a chocolate ice cream cone. It was like a waffle cone with a chocolate top with like M&M style candies in it. It was not good, it was way too sweet. Um, I'm pretty sure in the footage you can see me making gross out faces. Just not my style. If you like really sweet sugary chocolate, that is for you, but definitely not for me. They also had those gold foil ball candies that I've talked about before that of course I can't remember the name for it. again. It's like Roche Ferge or something. Uh, I apologize. I love them, so I ate them. 
very quickly and now they're gone so I can't really show you but they are very good it's like um, chocolate and chopped hazelnuts around a hazelnut um, and it's very very delicious next up we've got these little hard candies they are citrus hard candies apparently they are very popular in Italy uh, to give it like restaurants and stuff so we will try a lemon one these are really good uh, they don't taste like artificial lemon or orange or lime they taste more like very natural so that could be hit or miss depending on what you like I like I like both to be fair so this has that like tiny tiny hint of like bitter that you get from a lemon but I like it I think it's really good I could honestly see myself eating these after dinner um, I think I did I ate the only lime one yesterday um, so these are very good definitely recommend these next up are these look at how big this package is it's fantastic I can't say these Millefogli d'Italia I don't know what I'm saying so I apologize for all the people I just totally offended uh, puff pastry sticks with butter I don't have the sheet with me unfortunately because like I said I already filmed this video but from what I remember it's like folded something like 192 times and then cooked in butter and I like butter so it comes like this, which is nice because it's resealable. Also, what happened to- Who's been eating these? Mother! I ate like one for a video and there's like six of them gone. Someone's been eating them. Um, this is what they- What? They're good? <laughs> uh, this is what they look like. They're really good. They're really, really good. I really like these. It's a little teeny bit of sweet from like the butter and stuff, but it's really good. Just gonna eat those. So next, we have Zots. We got two strings, which are four candies each, in blue raspberry and orange. As you can see, I have eaten them. I love Zots, they're one of my favorite candies. I did not know they were Italian, which is um, actually really cool. So they're these hard candies that have a lot of fizzy stuff in the center so when you eat it it fizzes up so I'll show you so you're not supposed to bite them but I wanted to show you guys the fizzing really 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 good candy I really love these and I always buy them whenever I see them so I appreciate getting these if you see the size of this we got a whole nother package but of just lady fingers I didn't personally like them I love like tiramisu and stuff but I didn't love eating them just the cookies. However, as you can see, I don't have them anymore because someone else liked them a whole lot and was like, these are mine now. And I was like, all right, I guess. And the last item, they were honey and milk drops. And I'm gonna show this footage because I think it's funny. They tasted like honey, which was fine, but I was really dreading the milk. And when I bit into it, it just kind of oozed out and it was just so gross. I hated it. Um, I thought it was just awful because I don't like milk obviously and I was just like why would you make these like why do you ever need this like apparently it's good for like soothing sore throats but like just give me a spoonful of honey instead just no thank you but of course the same person that scooped up all the lady fingers came over and was like I'm taking those honey and milk jobs those are the best thing ever and I was like you're insane they're terrible but okay just take them so that's why those two items are gone. So when Treat says that there's something in the box for everyone, gotta agree because half this stuff is gone because my family has stolen it. Everyone's eating my food because it's just really good. Definitely check it out if you get the chance. I think it's very cool that they send you a different country every month instead of the same, here's Japanese treats every month. So you get a lot of different flavors, a lot of different things to try, and I just think it's really cool. So definitely check them out. I will leave the link in the down below. And as always, guys, my name is Fox. I love you all very, very much. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye, guys.